tonight a volunteer fire department is at risk of closing because its chief says most of the town hasn't paid dues. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark is here to talk about the impact this could have on people in Walker County's Yerkwood community. Michael? Yeah, that's right. The chief tells me if folks don't start paying dues, they could be forced to shut down literally in the next three months, leaving hundreds to rely on first responders who are farther away. Always listening to his radio. Four or five in the morning, we get up and we go. Chief Kenny Watts and his volunteers stay busy close to Interstate 22, where they respond to many wrecks, along with fire and medical calls to hundreds in the Yerkwood community. A lot of people don't want to do it, but it's, it's in my heart to help people. But Watts says most of the people they help haven't paid their $50 in annual dues, a problem that's been compounding for years. If we don't get the funds in, it's going to be, we don't have to shut the doors and you don't have to wait for another department to respond. That's why it's important to have a fire department because it's Christmas time. And you know, during Christmas time, a lot of fires. With a wonderland of electric Christmas lights, Curry Smith knows the importance of having first responders just down the street. It's sad when they don't pay their dues. Then when there's some go on, your house gets the fire, then you want to call the fire department. The Walker County Firefighters Association president says volunteer departments can't force neighbors to pay, but aside from dues, crews rely on limited county or state money. Vehicle repairs, equipment upgrades, and keeping the lights on can cost much more. We work with what we got, and we ain't got much. Watts is hopeful neighbors will chip in because he doesn't want to leave anyone in the dark. Now the Walker County Firefighters Association president says this is a problem for volunteer departments all over the country and the county. Watts is taking news at the station. We'll have more information on our website. Live in the newsroom tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.